GMGM, GM, welcome to another episode of the Crypto Weekly Recap by Unstoppable Domains. My name is Josh Gordon, I'm your host. I'm excited to be back. Last week, we didn't have a weekly recap video because the entire Unstoppable marketing team was at an offsite in Denver. We were working on our goals for the upcoming quarter and the upcoming months, the making plans on the projects we're gonna work on and how we're gonna bring more value to you and everybody who's part of our community, all of our members. So we had a great time getting to know each other, bonding, and really making some actionable plans for the coming months. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's Crypto Weekly Recap. So for story number one, I wanna talk about OpenSea. Now they just announced this week that they're going to start offering Solana NFTs. So Solana is a high speed, low cost blockchain with small environmental impact and its native currency is Solana, SOL. And it's used to pay for transaction fees and buying and selling NFTs. So Solana has low gas fees, fast transaction speeds, and this really helps make NFTs accessible to more people. So with Ethereum, there's high gas fees. Sometimes uh, it can take several minutes for a transaction to go through and that can cause, you know, not a great user experience for, especially on the internet today, we're used to seeing transactions go through immediately. So what are some benefits of Solana NFTs? Well, when you use OpenSea, your NFTs stay in your wallet when you list them and they only leave once they're sold. It's energy efficient and eco-friendly. So a transaction on Solana uses less energy than two Google searches. And it also has, like I mentioned, the low fees, the fast transactions, and this, this is really gonna help the user experience of buying and selling NFTs online. Now, right now, this feature is just in beta, and during beta, OpenSea is gonna be collecting feedback on the Solana experience. They are currently supporting 165 NFT collections. They're gonna be adding more every single day. So let me know which NFT collections you're checking out. I'm learning a lot about that, the, what the blue chips are on Solana. I'm very familiar with ETH, but you know I have some friends experimenting with Sol, some friends experimenting with Cardano NFTs. So it's good to see all the diversity in the space. Currently, there's 1.6 million Solana wallets that own an NFT, and I'm pretty confident that with this integration with OpenSea, that number is going to start to rise. So yeah, awesome to see this integration by OpenSea. Story number two, we're going to talk about Axie Infinity. So this past week, there was a big breach in the Axie Infinity network where $625 million were stolen from the Ronin blockchain. Now. Sky Mavis is the firm behind Axie Infinity, and they raised $150 million this week as for funding to reimburse some of the users that lost funds. So the Ronin attacker had pulled off this exploit by obtaining five of the nine validator keys that are responsible for securing the Ronin network. And Ronin is the blockchain that is uh, used for Axie Infinity's play to earn game. Now, the attacker was able to withdraw crypto and use the Ronin bridge and send it straight to an Ethereum wallet. And Binance, who was the leader of the raise for Axie Infinity in this last round said, we believe Sky Mavis will bring a lot of value and growth for the larger industry. And we believe it's necessary to support them as they work hard to resolve the recent incident. So I think it's interesting because, you know, what we're seeing, we've seen attacks um, in terms of, different blockchains or exchanges or dApps getting compromised. And it's a big question of what happens next? You know, are we going to see them repay the users who lost funds? Are we going to, is this just a rug pool? And it's really great to see Axie and Sky Mavis double down and say, okay, one, we're fixing the vulnerability that was, that was found. Um, own, own up to it, fix it, make sure that's not going to happen again. Two, we're gonna raise money so that we can make sure we're properly refunding all user funds that were lost. And I think that's a responsible move and it sets a really good precedent for you know future. No one wants to see attacks happen, but when they do, the question is what happens next? We wanna be able to have customer support, member support, and make people feel secure and confident that you know A, their funds aren't going to be lost. But if for some reason there is something that happens, they need to know that they'll be uh, you know, compensated fairly. All right, with story number three, let's talk about an alternative blockchain called Near Protocol. So Near Protocol said on Wednesday that they raised $350 million in funding led by the hedge fund Tiger Global. 
So this is to accelerate the decentralization of the near ecosystem. The raise comes just three months since they raised $150 million. So in just the span of a few months, they raised half a billion dollars. I mean, that's pretty crazy. So since it's October 2020 mainnet launch, Near has focused on creating a user-friendly platform for developers of decentralized applications. Now, the speedy proof-of-stake blockchain is meant to serve as an alternative to Ethereum, which has scalability and transaction fee issues. So the price of the NEAR token right now is around $14. And I, I want to point out this quote from Naval Ravikant. So he's an investor in Unstoppable Domains. And honestly, whenever Naval says anything around Web3, I listen. So Naval said, the NEAR protocol looks like ETH2, but it's actually implemented. So I'm learning more about NEAR right now. It's not necessarily an ecosystem that I was super familiar with, but the massive raise indicates to me that they're going to be subsidizing development within the platform. We're gonna see new applications being built, new decentralized applications, new communities popping up. And when that happens and when there's more activity, when more developers flow to the space, normally that's a bullish thing for a blockchain or a protocol. So if you wanna learn more about NEAR, I'm gonna include a thread in the description from my good friend Jack Niewold. He was on the Unstoppable podcast. We just did a recording. That episode is going to be dropping in a few weeks, but he dropped a really insightful thread on Near, and I learned a ton from it. So we're going to include it in the description below for you to do some reading after watching this video. All right, in Unstoppable news, we have a major announcement come out this past week, and it was blockchain.com and Unstoppable Domains partnered up. So we are using NFT domains to modernize the crypto trading experience for blockchain.com users. So rather than entering a long, complicated address for your wallet, blockchain.com will let customers enter an easy to read, unstoppable domain username. So for example, you could use josh.x, josh.nft, michael.crypto instead of your long ox123ab2, you know, Ethereum type address. So over 37 million blockchain.com wallet holders can now send and receive 275 plus cryptocurrencies. And remember, you only need one NFT domain to simplify all of your crypto transactions. So I'm stoked for this integration. I think it sets a great precedent for how wallets can make the customer experience and journey much better for users. It makes using an NFT domain makes it easier to send transactions, makes you feel safer, and just allows you to, to do more and, and operate in a more secure way. So love to see this happen, and I can't wait for us to have more and more wallet integrations in the coming months. I know our team's working hard on it. Unstoppable story number two. Have you seen our TikTok channel? If you haven't, go check it out. We're going hard on TikTok right now at Unstoppable Web. We've got fresh content around Web3 and crypto and NFTs coming out weekly. Sangsta, she's been making super educational videos for us and we've got podcast clips coming out and new content streams that are gonna be living and focused on TikTok. So go over there, check it out, give us a follow, drop your questions in the comments. We're getting back to all of you. So uh, it's pretty exciting that we're now on TikTok as well. And I just encourage you to check it out. Our community member of the week is web3god.x. Now web3god.x did some nice internet sleuthing around unstoppable domains. They pointed out that Google, Tesla, and some other brands who had their domains previously protected have now been claimed. Now it's a product decision that Unstoppable made to protect domain names for brands, celebrities, etc., because we believe that digital identity should not be something that other people can squat on and kind of gatekeep at, you know, by listing the price very high. So we protect domains for brands so that they can claim them mint them and then use them to represent their digital identity. So Google, Tesla and some others have recently claimed theirs. Fantastic to see. I'm looking forward to seeing how big brands really own their digital identity and what they do with their domain name. So that's yet to be seen. Web3god.x, good detective work. Now for our NFT project of the week, man, this hurts a little bit. I'm giving away some alpha now. There's a drop that's gonna be happening soon that's been on my radar. It's getting a ton of press, a ton of hype, and honestly, just me even talking about it here makes it even harder to potentially get access to this mint. But there's a project, and it's called Moonbirds. Now, it's a PFP 
for the Proof Collective project by Kevin Rose. So everything Kevin Rose touches really, really does well. Uh, he knows how to bring value to a community. So I had the Proof Collective mint on my radar, you know, months back when it came out. It minted for like one ETH and I passed on it because I was like one ETH, too much for me right now. And now the floor is over 90 ETH. So it hurts that knowing, <laughs> knowing I passed up on this one, I'm not gonna miss on Moonbirds. So there is, basically they have big plans to make this a top five PFP project. They have metaverse plans. Tons of utility planned in on how to reward community members, how to incentivize holding versus flipping. And I think this project just looks really interesting. So it's been a while since I made it something. I'm trying to get on the allow list. Check out Moonbirds. Um, there's some requirements to be able to mint and get on the allow list, but the mint is happening on April 16th. I think you have until April 10th to try to get access to the list for potential entrance into their uh, to the mint raffle. So yeah. Good luck. If you decide to mint, let me know. And if you get a Moonbird, let me know. Comment down below, I'm curious. Hopefully I get one too, and we're part of the community. All right, that's it for this week's episode of the Crypto Weekly Recap. I appreciate you tuning in. Please drop a subscribe if you found this video helpful. It really helps us reach more crypto curious and native people as we as we really work on our goal of educating people about crypto, Web3, NFTs, the metaverse. It's fascinating and we really believe in that future. So a subscribe and a like goes a long way. With that, I'll see you next week. I hope you have a good weekend. I appreciate you tuning in. Catch you later.